Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're going to be talking about how the elements were created, particularly with fusion. So if you look at the periodic table, you can see there's a vast array of elements, but how was each one actually created? We're going to start by looking at hydrogen in order to answer this, and we're going to see how hydrogen can combine in order to make the next smallest one helium. So if we're talking about fusion, Fusion is where we take two nuclei and we literally fuse them together. So we're going to be combining them. This is a chemical reaction that's taking place and we do develop a new element. Okay. They does have a lot of high energy that comes out of this. Um, and we do create a different mass as well in the resulting product. So you can see this example right here. We do have hydrogen two and hydrogen three. These are two isotopes of hydrogen and they are going to come together. They crash into each other. They undergo fusion chemical reaction. And then what happens is there's a huge release of energy and we actually create a helium atom with those two protons coming together. Two of the new neutrons are also in that helium atom. And one of the neutrons is shot out um, as kind of a byproduct of it. So that is why we have that change in mass um, from our beginning to the end because we've now lost one of the neutrons. However, it's not really like destroyed. It's just gone off in a different direction, okay? So where does this occur? Naturally in stars. In fact, our sun has fusion going on all the time. That is what creates all the heat and the light energy, the radiant energy that's reaching the earth. That is what's happening. It's undergoing fusion with those hydrogen atoms turning into helium atoms constantly all the time. So something important to note, um, the law of conservation is upheld here. So that's the law of conservation of mass and matter. It's also the law of conservation of energy. Neither one of these are being broken. So we are not creating energy, mass, or matter, and we are not destroying energy, mass, or matter. It's all just being transformed into something new. Uh, now, this can happen with other elements too. It doesn't just have to happen with the smallest one, hydrogen. It can happen with larger elements as well. And I'm giving you one more example here. We have helium combining with lithium and we are going to produce a boron atom. Now, I just want to make a note of this, you guys. This is really the tip of the iceberg when it comes to creating larger nuclei and more elements off the periodic table. So don't think this is the end all be all of it. However, this is the basics of how we get started. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, everybody.